Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode only on your favorite channel PSDNs. In this episode, let us see how to draft a professional resume, especially for the researcher who are aiming to apply for scholarship or finding a suitable position or postdoc position. But before moving on to the content, let me remind you to like, share, and subscribe to your favorite channel. PSDNs. In this video, I will show you some of the tips which you can use to generate your resume by using Orchid ID and ResearchGate. If you have not signed up for Orchid ID and ResearchGate, I request you to sign up and have your own ID. Designing a resume is very important in a scientific career, especially where you need to express or portray your scientific skills, interest, your publication, and the position what you have held till date. In most cases, we often get confused what to include and what not to include. So, in this video, let me show you some of the component of a curriculum vitae. Here in this slide you can see these are some of the common components of a curriculum vitae or a resume but there is a slight different or modification which we need to do especially when you are a researcher. Here are some of the typical 10 component of a professional research CV. First comes your personal detail followed by your researcher IDs that is Google Scholar ID, your ORCID ID, ResearchGate ID, Scopus ID, etc. Followed by the objective, what aims you have for your future career, then comes your qualification, the recent qualification, what you have achieved, followed by very important your skills. Here you need to mention your core scientific skills which you have implemented in your scientific career followed by the professional experiences which you have held till date and also try to highlight awards honors what you have achieved during your scientific career if you have not achieved any awards then you, here you can mention the scientific membership which gives a committee that you are actively involved followed by very important your publication please do highlight your publication which portraits your skills and the justification for apl applying for a job or a scholarship and you can also in this section you can also include your conference proceedings and if you have any genbag deposition you can highlight here and at the last you need to provide the references wherein they try to contact these references what you have mentioned to gauge your scientific caliber so very important part of this video how to generate a curriculum with your resume using a research kit and ORCID ID. Let me show you. So moving on to the research gate. First you need to sign in to the research gate. Here comes your profile and if you go to your page you can see your profile, your overview then comes your research publications information stats score rj score etc here you need to go to information then you need to come down here you can see export your profile as a cv click export cv then it gets downloaded
and here you can see your CV which includes your information here you can edit your information here by adding your address contact information here you can see research experiences what you have achieved at different times then your RJ score awards what you have achieved skills language scientific membership as I mentioned then comes your publication your complete publication what you have added your book chapters information of your journal publication etc your patents conference proceedings etc so here you can edit however you want add or delete your information so this is how you need to generate your curriculum vitae using ResearchGate now let us move on to ORCID ID so now moving on to ORCID ID you need to sign in to the ORCID ID then you need to add your information such as your bibliography your employment then education and qualification your membership your funding agencies then your publications so after adding this information here you can see like view public version you need to click on this which generates your ORCID information so ORCID ID is a unique identification number which is given to a researcher where in a scientific community easily anybody can have a look about the scientific information or a profile what he or she is having so so moving on to this is a public view then you can go to print view you can directly print if you want or you can also save as a PDF so here comes your PDF file which comprises of your information your uh, other IDs such as a researcher ID, Scopus ID, author ID followed by employment history then comes your funding sources your publications etc you can save this and use as your professional resume so guys that's it for now please do share like and subscribe to my channel keep supporting me keep commenting so that i can come up with new videos till then have a nice time good luck in your scientific endeavors bye bye